Are you ready to pair your new Apple Watch 11? Here's how to quickly set up and then activate it for the first time so you can use it right away. Alright, so right after unboxing your watch, first you need to take off the straps or wristbands that came with the box and just go ahead and attach them to your watch. And while you do so, just make sure to attach the smaller side at 12 o'clock with the crown on the right if you want to wear it on your right wrist and vice versa. So everything set? Let's pair our watch. You're going to press on this power button to turn it on, not the crown, the power button. And in a moment, it'll show the Apple logo and we'll start into setup mode. And you'll be prompted to bring your iPhone near your watch to start pairing. This could be any iPhone, including this iPhone Air. You'll get a connection pop-up on your iPhone. Just hit continue. Now, just in case, if it did not show up, don't worry. Just open the watch app on your iPhone and just hit start pairing. You will end up in this exact same section. Select whether you want to set it up for yourself or someone else. You can pair the watch manually or put the watch screen right under the iPhone's camera to scan it. Alright, so you'll get a prompt to update the software, which might take a couple of hours. So totally your call, but for now, I'm going to just skip the update and continue. And if you've skipped it as well, just tap on set up Apple Watch. Next, just go ahead and select the wrist that you want to wear the watch, left or right, whatever you want. And then hit continue. Agree to the terms and conditions. Alright guys, so next, you'll be asked to enter the iCloud password that you are using in this same iPhone. Now you can skip it now, but you'll need it in the next step for iMessage notifications. So just sign into your iCloud account. And then select whether you want to share your watch analytics to Apple or not. We can create a screen lock password or just skip it and press don't add. Don't worry, you can set it up later in settings. Some appearance settings will be on your watch screen like bold text or text size that you can change right now or maybe later. A prompt about shared settings is next on your screen. Just press OK. Now you all know that Apple Watch is world famous for its fitness and health tracking. So if you want, you can set up your personal information. And if you use a wheelchair, just add that as well. And then press continue. So you'll get a prompt to set up the activity. You can set it up here right now, or you can just go ahead, skip the step and set up everything from the watch settings later on. And from here, you can enable the route tracking or you can just go ahead, do it later. You can also set up sleep tracking from here or save it for later once your watch is set up. If there is a loud noise nearby, if you have a medical condition, you can keep it enabled so your watch can notify you. And then press continue. And then press continue. Some emergency features will show up on your screen. Just take a look and press continue. Next, just select which wrist gesture you want to use on your watch, like wrist flick or double tap. And then hit continue. Especially if you like to swim, you can enable open depth feature to measure temperature, time, and depth of water up to 20 feet. So as you can see, the Apple Watch is sinking. So meanwhile, if you want, you can hit get to know your watch and explore what's new in watchOS or just take a look at the user guide. And that's it. Your Apple Watch 11 setup is complete. Press down on your iPhone and on your Apple Watch, which is saying hello to you, just press start. You can then take a tour on your watch, explore all the features, the button functions, the apps and stuff of your watch if you want. And then enjoy your brand new Apple Watch 11. Thanks for watching.